So this is how you master calendar spread. How to increase the range? Which one is better, call or put? Can you do in the money? What are the things which you need to avoid? How you can really manage your margin? Everything in a very short amount of time. Hi everybody, welcome to another very special video and in today's video, we are going to cover calendar spread like no one else. You gonna know which calendar is better, put calendar or call calendar. Can you play bullish doing put calendar? How is it even possible? What are the adjustments of it? When one should do it? When one should completely avoid it? Can you make calendar to get theta DK? Is it even possible? These are lot of things are unheard concept. We are going to cover it all. It's gonna be a really fun ride. So focus for next few minutes and your level of trading is gonna go up. Trading calendars, dominate. Calendar spread trading, that's what we wanna do. Fast crash course, let's start all the fun now. Knowledge which helps you make money, that's what we talk about here, no gas, no fluff. Let's cover how before the advanced tricks, before we get to the adjustments and tricks, let's learn how to do it. So here we are on an option simulator. I've picked a month, March, beginning of March, right? So what do we do? We look forward to short, slightly out of the money, market currently trading 22,200. So we look forward to make a put calendar spread. So what do we do? We look forward to go out of the money and we sell it and we buy the same strike and same quantity. This is how you make a put calendar spread. Same things can be done on the call side as well. You can go slightly OTM to 300, 500 points OTM and you can sell the, uh, the near expiry. You can buy the next expiry. Same thing can be done on weeklies as well. Short the current week, long the next week. Same thing can be done in weekly, monthly calendar spread as well. What are you shorting? You wanna short the current week and then you wanna obviously long the monthly. So that's the concept of it, very easy. But the easy part just ends here now. Let's understand more. First of all, this maximum profit and maximum loss, this is incorrect. Like I've been telling in a lot of my videos, you don't have to take this payoff graph on the face value. Why? Because Opstra actually somehow calculates that on expiry, the uh, April contract is also going to be zero. That's how it calculates number one point. Number two learning for you is, you see the break even, right? All these payoff fans, hi, wake up call. These break evens which you see, these are not fixed. These break even move 100, 200 points even. So these are not to be believed 100%. Clear? I hope it's very much clear. In fact, I'm going to show you how, what exactly do we do with this. And obviously it's a hedge strategy. So uh, the margin requirement is really, really low. How much? Probably around 20,000, 25. It depends on what the volatility play is because there are two moving parts to this. That's why uh, things really, really vary when you trade calendar. Okay, so we are done and dusted with this. How the payoff graph look? Payoff graph looks like this when you trade a put calendar spread. Now, why am I emphasizing a lot on put calendar? The reason is put calendar spreads are always more profitable than the call calendar spread. Why? Simple. Calendar is one of those strategy which works extremely well in a low VIX environment, okay? That's the reason and put has high IV or call has. You know it very well, you've been trading markets, right? Put IVs are always higher than the call IVs. Hence, the put calendar spread is always better, more profitable, comparable to the call calendar. Okay, I'm glad we got this covered. Now, obviously the volatility spikes and calendar comes into profit really, really fast. The ROI is also very nice. I'm gonna touch more points and also the adjustment part as well. Which one is better and why? I've told you the put calendar spread is always, always better, okay? Remember, when you are trading calendar spread, you are fighting the battle on two fronts. When you make a iron condor or a straddle, triangle, basically, what exactly are you looking at? You're looking at that the range should not break. The only one front you are fighting, actually, right? But when you do calendar, it takes slightly more advanced uh, level of skills trading this because uh, when exactly you have to do and which strike to pick is a big difference. In fact, a difference of day 
and night. Let me tell you what exactly do I mean, because you are fighting here with direction. You don't want your range to break, obviously. And second, volatility. You don't want volatility to fall. Although calendar can handle a little bit of volatility fall, but you do not want a big crash in volatility when you trade calendar. Let me show you these two points. It's important that you learn this when you do calendar. So this is what I'm talking about. Number one is the range. The range should not break. So that's the first thing we have to see. Second is we want volatility to rise. That's the reason why calendar spreads perform phenomenally when the volatility is medium to low. Low is even better, but a high is not recommended for calendar. Not there is not there when trading calendar. Now I was talking to you about the break even. It's important for you to understand now because the same reason I'm going ahead by one day and just keep a have an eye over here on the break evens. What do you see? 637 has become 640 on the upside downside 544 okay if i go ahead what you want to find is now it has changed now 594 it has become if we go ahead now 594 it's same almost now if we go 588 and 582 over here so as you can see it really really changes 10 50 points is very easy break even goes you know wider narrower depending on the volatility volatility increase it can go 100 points as well very very easy so the point which i'm trying to make is even if you are wrong with the direction as you can see it has really come near to your break even on the upside correct now even if it has come closer to your break even your total pnl is still positive right it just been six days when we start to trade this first of march i want to ask you when you trade a strangle in seven days, market comes very, very fast to your strangle at the money. Can you imagine the loss which you see? You trade Condor, you trade credit spreads, you trade any of these strategies, the theta DK strategy. When it reaches your break even so fast, high chances that at least three to 5% loss minimum. And here in calendar, the big positive here is that if it reaches, it's still giving you profit. How much? 117, approximately 0.4%. But that's not the point. The point is not to show you that we made crazy amount of money. No, the point is to make it absolutely clear to you what are the advantages. And I'm also going to come on the disadvantage of it as well. Now, obviously, we look forward to adjust it now, which I'm going to tell you. But I have some more important points to cover before I go to adjustments. Time for your favorite section now, VIP point. Now, you know, gear up. Something really solid coming. Can you play bullish in put spread as well? How? Basically, put calendar spread, people make it for bearish, right? But can you make it in bullish? Unheard of, right? Why would you do put calendar? You will do call calendar, right? Now, you can make an in the money put calendar and it becomes a bullish spread. And why are you doing put calendar? You can do call calendar. Am I correct? When you play bullish, you do call calendar. But you can also make it in the money, provided that you're not doing heavy volumes and you are only doing nifty because nifty has very narrow bid and ask spread. Even slightly in the money, we can one can do. Now, the advantage which we are going to get is really, really different. Let's see what I'm talking about. Here, around 7th of March, we made a, a simple normal put calendar and market reached break even. We are making money. That's fine. Now, if we do the same thing, 1st of March, same time, everything remains same. But instead of doing it on the puts out of the money, you do your puts in the money. These are puts. These are not call. And if you have a look at the payoff, payoff graph is going to look something like this. So instead of, you know, the opposite, it is looking something like this. And now we have to stop at 7th of March, right? The normal conventional one. Now I'm moving to the in the money. Now this is in the money. First March. Now let's see if we go ahead with this. Now what's the advantage are we going to have with this? Are we going to have any advantage or not? So let's see by 7th of March, same time, your in the money put calendar spread, which is bullish. So exactly ulta of public, it's giving you good amount of ROI. How much? Around 5%. Also, your out of the money put spread is also giving you 0.5%. Same time, same everything. Now the unheard concept, of calendar spreads it's not just the volatility play alone it's also about uh, which is better call and put why which strikes to pick 
if you master these uh, things then uh, i don't think anybody can touch your hand trading calendar spread because i'll tell you one thing the biggest challenge for an option trader is mastering low wicks this is where the the cream the top of the top option traders make money you know why because when the wicks is low maximum of your strategies your short strangles straddles condor jeep you know these alligators all these uh, strategies this they don't perform as well you know this but calendar spread is the only strategy which really take a you know flying roi uh, only because it is uh, very very different and slightly advanced comparable to other strategies and if you want to really elevate your trading game all you have to do is simply whatsapp on the number flashing on the screen and you can really get an upgrade on the better methods different hedging techniques different way of looking at things the only way to make it big in this trading business is to keep improving your knowledge number 1 number 2 get the knowledge which is not publicly available and number 3 practice it and master it that's how it is it's a really really rewarding way to make money provided that uh, you give your you give it time you invest your time in this and you sort of master it now let's see i have adjustment point left now so adjustments we going to do and then i'm going to tell you the most important point when not to do a calendar spread this video is getting interesting by every passing minute give it a like let me know like youtube know that you like such kind of content so youtube make sure that you do not miss such kind of videos now let's talk about adjustment now in this situation market has reached the break even and you are making slight bit of roi that's fine imagine that you are making loss here anyways you have to adjust now what you can do number one thing which you can do is you can bring your put slightly where the market is so that way if you do suppose if you roll this slightly ahead then obviously your range is going to get extended which is pretty much obvious second thing which you can do is you can now take a position in the call side okay so it's the march expiry if i go ahead if i show you we go slightly out of the money probably 100 points just for demonstration purpose we are shorting monthly and we are longing monthly the same thing we are doing here we go so it's april now the strike was 22700 which we look forward to long and we do this and this is how it looks so this can also be done and by the way do not worry about that it will ask for more margins etc of course uh, you need to uh, you know give slightly more margin but uh, it's a head strategy so it's just 25000 i mean i'm sure all of you watching my video must be having it that's not much of an issue and by the way you can also short probably 22900 as well so that gives you even a bigger wider range also you can go in the money put a calendar which nobody is doing you can also do that that will also increase your range so there are three things which you can do which is the best out of it uh the call doing the call is better because it's going to give you enough liquidity in the money uh, put calendar is also fine but the liquidity is an issue so you really cannot do volumes so uh, that is something which you must must keep in mind so we have done with the adjustment easy you can roll back the video and you can watch it i have one more most important point right always the climax have to be grand and obviously i have more important points coming now when not to do the result of election is near so volatility is really really high what are the chances that after election volatility will go even more high my chances is that the volatility should go down now so times like these are probably not the best time to do calendar spread okay it's good to know information but uh, not necessarily you have to trade strategy blindly right every strategy should be deployed at the right time picking the right strike have to be done the right adjustment with the designated capital right so all these moving parts make option trading really really interesting okay enough of volatility play now there is one more card i have up my sleeve now uh, you know it's uh, volatility play for calendar right now but you want to do theta as well so how you can make a calendar spread if you want to capture theta dk this is completely unheard uh, concept because uh, calendar is basically a low uh, wix low volatility environment strategy but you want to get theta as well so i can teach you that method which is super advanced i mean and deadly very very nice uh, if you want that let me know in the comment section if you want to learn more about it i am going to give you methods 
whatever i can give you obviously the the top shelf i will not be able to but whatever i can i'll try to help you out i make sure that one video gives you enough information to really sprint fast why to do hit and trial in the market first of all hit and trial just doing random things because at least there are so many points of calendar which one can still cover i don't like making basic uh, videos that you can find the thousands of channels but you come here because you want to get advanced the better stuff the unheard concept and i've showed you and i demonstrated you as well why because you shower so much love uh, on this channel so i i replicate it back you make progress i feel really really happy satisfied content that's my kick in life so elevate your trading game you can learn the craft like i told you the contact number is flashing the one touch whatsapp link is also on the first pinned comment if the video is too advanced for you not a worry you can always go back and you know note down the key important points which i taught you today so that's very very nice less monitoring premium strategies are perfect for low stress trading one thing which i do want to tell you is one mistake you must must avoid in trading that is because uh, in other fields of life the more hard work you do the more your chance to you know get on top but in trading more how would you do more hard work is that you try to from weekly you shift to intraday intraday you go to 1 minute 1 minute you go to 5 seconds and you try to scalp this doesn't do any favor to you actually when you zoom out things and you start to trade monthly probably bi weekly options then you start to see good results so that is something which i want to tell you because i get a lot of queries where you want to learn about scalping and all that so please uh, stay away from that and get better solid way of trading and don't try to master 100 strategy master one strategy but you make sure that nobody comes even close to you when it comes to trading that one particular strategy so knowledge part is 50% 50% is your execution how do you maneuver your trades the day you turn your negative trade into positive that day your confidence level going to be sky high believe me all right guys thanks for watching the video and like i always say you are going to do so well in trading you will surprise everyone i wish you all the best